What's up, YouTube? This your girl, Comedic Medium Profits, and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, I am a prophetic tarot reader. I do not read cards based off the meanings. I read cards based off what Spirit tells me, the holy angels and the divine. And I'm going to do a reading for Gemini. I'm going to start off with my prism oracles. Let's get some messages for that first. Let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raziel, please give me clear and precise messages. Whoa, that's too many. Clear and precise messages. We have creativity. We have anger. We have faith. We have death. I'm hearing life and death. We have frustration. We have hunger. We have fear. We have passion. We have reflection, we have balance, and we have trust, rejection, scared, and consciousness, and growth, and energy, and magic, and protection, and success, and abundance. I can always I already see what that's it, you guys. I can already see what's going on here. If you're new to if you're new to my channel, getting tongue tied. I don't just be pulling out messages back to back for no reason. I listen to my spirit guides. So. This is what spirit is telling me right off the bat. This has something to do with your career, Gemini. I feel like some of you are very double-minded, but in a good way. I feel like some of you can have like multiple personalities I'm hearing. Let me see. What tarot deck do you want me to use, spirit? Let's see. What's going on for my Geminis? I'm hearing fear not. We're always watching out for you. For, you, for those of y'all who do not know, maybe I need to link this. I don't know if you can get it. I don't even know if you can find it on YouTube. Uh, you might can find this video on Facebook or Instagram, but it's the Illuminati commercial. And uh, it just talks about, the Illuminati commercial just basically talks about how the end times and um, a, a, a poverty, angel number 222 on the clock as I say this, uh-oh. Sorry about that, you guys, but a poverty stricken planet that we live on. For those of you who do not know, this is a new era. This is the age of Aquarius. Y'all, can y'all do me a favor and hold on? The screen is about to go black for a second. I really got to give me a bottle of water. Give me one second. Okay, you guys. Okay, I am back. Sorry about that. Okay, got me some water because like I be getting out of breath, y'all, when I be doing these readings. And the reason why I made the phone go down and it went black because I got on some little tight little stuff and y'all don't need to see my hoo-ha. Anyways. <laughs> but Gemini, I feel like this reading has something to do with your career or where you're headed in life. Spirit is nudging on you. I feel like a lot of you could be in regret. You feel defeated. I feel like a lot of you feel like that you keep moving two steps forward and then two steps, excuse me, and then two steps back. But I'm hearing keep the faith. Keep the faith. I feel like some of you could be celibate as well. I'm hearing you 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 cannot be having sex. I'm hearing some of you could be like pansexual asexual i don't know i'm hearing take what resonate leave what don't i don't really i don't really get into all the sexual stuff angel number 14 4 14 on the clock i'm hearing that you're about to be blessed beyond your measures measures gemini for staying on your path for being dedicated for i feel like you're one with the universe you are protected i feel like you kind of been getting discouraged but don't be because spirit is saying you've grown so much. 
Keep going. Angel number 444 on the clock as I say this. Keep going. Don't give up. Don't get discouraged. Don't get worried. I'm hearing there could be a lot of people that's sending you spiritual attacks as well. This could be a family of yours because we have several people here. I'm hearing there are several people trying to figure out what the fuck they can do to you to sabotage you. But Spirit is saying, listen, Spirit is saying is, look, don't even worry about that. I feel like you guys have been worried about the wrong thing, the spiritual attacks, the the uh, the the downfalls, the setbacks. Don't worry. Spirit is saying, continue to keep your faith and trust in Him. I feel like you could be you could have been born into a demonic family, a karmic family. These motherfuckers do spell work. But spirit keeps telling me whoever these people are, whether there's friends, whether there's family, whether there's outsiders, whoever these people are, they're fucking irrelevant. Spirit is saying these people are, irrele are irrelevant. Yeah, they could be doing spell work with this magic card here, but it's like, who cares? Because you're manifesting. I feel like a lot of you pray at night, Gemini. Keep praying. Spirit could be saying that you need to pray more. Get on your knees. Spirit is saying, don't lay in the bed and just put your head down in your pillow and, and talk to God. Get on your knees. Put your hand, hold your hands like this and get on your knees and pray. Give it to God. Release it. Blow it out. I'm hearing literally blow if you got to. Sing it out if you got to sing it out. Praise it out. Put on some praise and worship music. Give God praise. I'm hearing every praise is to our God. Every praise Every praise is to our God. Yeah, glory, hallelujah. Hey, I'm finna get into it, y'all. Let me stop. I'm getting the anointing. Listen, Gemini, you're going to be abundant. Don't worry. Don't worry. See, everything happens in divine time, timing. Say it with me, Gemini. Everything happens in divine timing. Keep being creative. You can have a platform. Like such as myself, hell, you could be trying to start up a business. I don't know what you're doing, Gemini, but keep going. Keep being creative. Gemini, Spirit wants you to know these outsiders, these people, they are relevant. They see you shining. They know you're bossed up. And if you ain't bossed up and they talking about you bad, whether you're shining or not, these people are going to talk about you bad, but Spirit is telling me they irrelevant. They irrelevant. Look, you irreplaceable. Irreplaceable. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. I can have another you in a minute. Look, these people, and I'm not just talking about romantic partners. You can't even be replaced. Listen, you worried, you, 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 you sitting around worried about these people, Gemini, and they fucking sick behind you. You now you worried. You still functioning? You still going? Because I'm hearing that God got his hands over you, Gemini. God got his hands over you, Gemini. You, 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 you're blessed beyond measures. Even if you ain't got what you want, you, you got what you need. People just hating and jealous of you because God is taking care of you. People can't seem to figure out how is God taking care of you and, and you, you live, you, you're so abundant. And you're so abundant after everything we did to you. This could be friends, family members. I don't know. People are in shock. They confused. Motherfuckers is sick because you're irreplaceable. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. I feel like that's what y'all are saying. I can have another you in a minute. And it ain't even got to be a romantic partner. I'm talking about people in general. See, you don't miss... You don't miss a good thing till it's gone. I'm hearing people is sick. They weak in the knees. Because I'm hearing, I get so weak in the knees. I lose control. Yeah, these people is losing control. And if you don't like my song downloads and you don't like me singing, then get your ass up off my channel. Because I sing from time to time. I'm a singer. In my mind, I'm a motherfucking star until I get there. And, and, and whoever trying to fucking condemn me or, or, or kill my dreams, get the fuck up off my goddamn channel because... It's going to be returned right back to sender, to sender. I am a fucking Libra and I'm spiritually high ranked and I'm chosen. So, hey, if you want to come for me and mess with me, if you don't hear just because I, I know you, I know it's a lot of you behind your fake accounts and you're watching and you're trying to stop shit, but you ain't going to mess with Gemini and you're not going to mess with me and any, and any other cross watcher or anybody else. So that's a part of my subscribers and my collective that watch me get back. 
need some pushback. Uh, James Brown voice. <laughs> I'm sick of people, man. These motherfuckers is carrying burdens and shit. This could be your family, your friends. It's like, motherfuckers, this is the sad part is, because it's like, motherfuckers got, they got your name in their mouth, Gemini. They want you. They want you to be afraid and and in fear, sending you all type of spiritual and attacks and shit, trying to harvest your fucking energy. Spirit is saying you did right because these motherfuckers went too far. You can't trust these people. You're doing right. Stay away from these people. But listen, spirit keep nudging me and telling me it's over. It's over. They they keep telling me you worried about stuff that don't even matter. It's irrelevant. You too balanced for this. Go look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself you're beautiful. Pat yourself on the back say i'm beautiful i am somebody i feel like some of you could feel like you just existing but spirit is saying you are somebody you are the bitch you are the head bitch the head nigga in charge you are the shit you gonna forever be that bitch because i'm here mega the stallion i'm a savage classy bougie ratchet that's what she is and these motherfuckers are haters even if you ain't got much you got a roof you got a roof over your head and you got clothes on your back and you got food in your stomach and you got your basic necessities and god taking care of you and, you, and, you, and when you wake up in the morning 11 11 on the clock as i say this and when you wake up in the morning you got breath in your body you can stretch your arms out you can walk your legs you can move around you got you got your eyes you got your nose you got your lips you got every goddamn thing you need even a small stuff some people don't even have that be thankful be humble see god is ready to bless you your breakthrough is finna happen gemini god is finna get ready to bless you but i feel like whoever you you are you worried about irrelevant shit that don't matter folk continue to focus on your passion can focus on being creative you are somebody that's very creative these people are sick they weak they sick to the stomach because i'm hearing i get so weak in the knees i can hardly speak i lose control yeah they want you to lose control but they lose the control i'm hearing these people is so weak they crying missing you i'm hearing these people is so weak they crying and crawling on the floor tears rolling down their eyes they can't breathe they can't see they can't think they frustrated they angry because they don't understand where this hunger come from. hunger has come from, where this drive has come from. Why come everything that they tried to do to you, break you and destroy you, didn't ruin you, and you over here resting and rejuvenating, and you motherfucking protected? How they do that? How did how did this how how did he or she do this? How did Gemini do this? How could this how could this happen? Cause you're conscious and you protected, and, and the spirit is saying rejection is protection. No more. Hurt not my chosen one. No more. We can't continue to let this go on. We let it go on for so long. God said, look now, I let it go on and I let it happen to my child because I had to teach them some lessons. They had to go through a karmic cycle. They had to go through a sad return. But that's over now. It's over. No more heartbreak. No more pain. No more sadness. Motherfuckers, you got motherfuckers that want you sad and depressed, fucking wi wishing death on you because you successful, because you headed to higher and better things. You, 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 you're exalted. I'm hearing Aaliyah. You like Aaliyah? You the, you the highest, the most exalted one. And that's what Aaliyah's name meant for those of y'all who don't know. These motherfuckers is haters. Don't let these spiritual attacks cleanse yourself. Spirit is saying, get on your knees and repent. I'm hearing you need to repent, Gemini. I don't know. I could be talking to a Gemini or more people that's not just a Gemini. But Spirit is saying, you need to get your hands like this. If you if you a Muslim, you need to get your hands like this. If you a Christian, I don't know what you believe in. I don't know who you pray to. But whoever you pray to, I hope it's the most high. But I ain't, you know, I ain't judging you. If you an atheist, do you. But, you know, follow God. You got to connect with somebody. If you're an atheist, at least connect with the fucking universe. But Spirit is saying, you need to get on your knees. And you need to repent because there's so many attacks on you. I'm hearing you under spiritual attack, but don't worry. You ain't got to be sad. You ain't got to be hurt because that's what they want. They don't want you to work. They don't want, they want to stop your shine. They want to stop your light because you, you're shining. You're shining bright like a diamond, Gemini. Pat yourself on the back. Look yourself in the mirror. I'm hearing some of you, Gemini men, you, you think you're ugly. You think you don't look good. You done gained a little weight. You, you done ate a little food. This, that, and the third man. Flaunt that shit. If you a big woman, I don't know why the spirit got me talking to big woman. Girl, you know you bad. 
Quit letting that nigga tear your tear your self esteem down. Shit, I didn't been there, done that. I played that role before. I didn't. I didn't see comedic see comedic medium prophets. Let me tell y'all something. Ain't no shame in my game. See, I'm not the person. I'm not ashamed of what I've been through. And see, you can't pull my whole card. You can't pull my good card, my whole card, my bad card. You can't pull no type of card on me. A green card, a blue card, a red card, a whatever card. You can't pull that on me because, see, look, if I did that, I did that. And I'm going to tell you I did that. That's called keeping it real. And, see, some of you motherfuckers need to worry about keeping it real instead of worrying about other motherfuckers' business and trying to turn other motherfuckers down. So quick to talk about the next person, but you can't even keep it real with your motherfucking self. Yeah, see, me, I got flaws. I fuck up. So what? So what? You gained a little weight. Shit. Work on it. Shit. Motherfucker calling you fat because I feel like I'm talking to somebody that's dealing with a nigga that, 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 that calls them fat and breaks them down and breaks their self-esteem. And Yeah, this motherfucker's a weak, a bitch, and a pussy, and they probably fucking gay. Fuck that nigga. You was a bad chick. Girl, you got to wake up and look in the mirror and say, I'm beautiful. I'm fine. I'm all of that. Hell, ain't nothing wrong with being fucking big L. Some of you, you know, everybody was not meant to be on this earth to be fucking skinny. Or, you know, we got, we got, we got BBWs. We got skinny, little tiny chicks. We got slim, thick chicks. I mean, hey, whatever floats your boat. We got all type of stuff out here. But I feel like I'm talking to somebody that... This is a whole nother fucking scenario I didn't picked up on, but I feel like I'm talking to a female that's in a relationship with an old stupid ass nigga. Somebody that's probably gay and in the closet that hate women, probably really low key hate their mama, probably a fucking narcissist. Hell, I feel like you afraid to eat. Who am I talking to? I don't know who this is for, but I'm picking up on, on something else. You afraid? I'm channeling somebody. You afraid to fucking eat? You, you, you gotta sneak and order pizza? You gotta sneak and eat at it? So you wanna eat? You afraid to eat? You trying to keep your weight down? Cause this motherfucker is turn your self-esteem down girl you better fucking eat you better eat shit big girl eat eat as much as the hell you want shit you ain't got it and i feel like you don't even eat that much now don't get me wrong i'm not condoning you being like obese i'm not condoning you being unhealthy but still shit if you healthy and you in good shape and you didn't went to the doctor and the doctor said you healthy and you you your right size head girl you better eat girl Fuck him. Shit, I'd knock his ass upside. See, look, let me stop, God. Let me stop. Let me stop. I feel like you didn't went broke trying to help feed somebody who they didn't got the nerve to call you fat. I feel like, let me tell you something, man, because I didn't picked up on a whole nother channel. And look, either part one could have resonated with you or part two could resonate with you. Pick your side. Use the sermon. I don't know. But listen, I didn't picked up on somebody that's with a sorry ass nigga who trying to bring you down because you big and you beautiful. Now listen, I feel like this an old sorry ass bum ass nigga that you probably didn't move in that didn't try to finesse you. You didn't you didn't went broke trying to feed this old overgrown ass nigga. Man, you better get this motherfucker up out your house, man. Yeah. This motherfucker probably can't even take care of you. Probably ain't got a pot of piss in or, or nothing, but living on you, staying on you, eating up your goddamn food, and then got the nerve to call you big because they insecure. They want to break you down. Look, they break, they doing that shit on purpose to keep you stuck so you don't put them up at your house. So you won't cut their ass off. Sorry ass motherfucker. Uh, you see, look, see, see, look, the comedic medium prophetess. I don't even know that I say my real name on here. If I did, oh well. But, uh... <laughs> 18 18 on the clock see the comedic medium prophet is saved i i, I live i'm living for the lord and i'm not that but see i can't handle that all that i can't handle that I, that's 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 why you know look i can't handle all that i, I be the knocking be better going on now going on now see y'all better than me <laughs> this motherfucking devil right here shit this motherfucker, let, let me say a prayer for Gemini. For, I don't know who, what woman is going through this, but look, I want you to energetically hold my hand and we're going to touch an agreement. Father God, I ask you to protect this sister because I feel like this is a black woman. Lord, Father God, I ask you to protect this sister from this devilish narcissist, God, because this man is no good. God, this man or this woman, because I don't know if it's a man or, or a woman, maybe you a big man. I don't know, but I feel like this is a black woman. This was the devil that was sent into this person's life that don't want to see this person do good. This is a demon and the devil that hate themselves they're an abuser they break women down father god i ask you to protect this woman protect this woman and please lord get in between this fix it father god fix it please lord as help this person to get somewhere safe because i feel like this is somebody that's being abused i really do 
This is abusive masculine that hate themselves and they gay. This king of swords, this fucking devil. Get away from this goddamn man because now I'm getting fucking mad. This man probably knocking you upside the goddamn head, one up and you cheating on you, messing with your friends and shit. I don't fucking know, but this motherfucker got to go because I didn't got fucking mad. So like I said, the first part of the reading can resonate with you or the second half. I don't know. But yeah, do you, you're you experiencing this person's karma I'm seeing. You're losing finances and money. I feel like because this has something to do with a queen of swords so this person so i don't mean no harm but i just gotta keep it a book i gotta keep it real somebody you could have uh this masculine could have left uh could have left somebody else for you you can be a you, you could be this queen of swords as well i'm sorry you experiencing this, this person's karma so let me keep it real i i mean i gotta keep it real this is just, this just what i see you could be experiencing this masculine karma from for, for trying to take a bitch man Sorry, I just got to keep it real. But look, look, let me show you how fair comedic medium prophetess is. Even if you did fuck up and try to take somebody man in and you receiving karma, you receiving this person's karma for doing some fuck shit. You still don't, 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 don't uh, have to be abused. You don't have to take this shit. Get the fuck out. And if, and, if, and if that part don't resonate with you and you just a good person who who in a relationship with a fucking narc who trying to bring you down because you like to eat, girl, you better fucking eat, eat, eat all the fuck you want. Shit. Shit, I'll be walking, girl, and I'm not no big woman, but I can see this in my third eye. I'll be walking around my guy. It's, that's your house. You pay the goddamn bills. You the HBIC. You probably paying the car note, the rent. You buying the food. You doing everything. You got this old, overgrown ass nigga up in your house. This motherfucker ain't giving you shit but dick. That's it. And it probably ain't even no good dick. It's some 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 limp dick. Probably I'm hearing this nigga got a small dick. It ain't even no good dick. This motherfucker got you under spell work. And I'm hearing that you had this person under spell work. Or well, I'm hearing two motherfuckers got two people on spell work under spell work. I don't know. Take what resonates with what don't. But what I'm seeing here is is that man, look, something gonna have to give. I mean, it, I, don't, I don't even know what to say. It's like spirit is not even, there's no protection here. I don't even see no fucking protection here. There could be a death or an ending to this situation, but it's just like, how? Neither one of you motherfuckers will let it go. You're both codependent. This motherfucker is calling you crazy and, and saying you're fat and you're big and you eat too much to break your self-esteem down and you so afraid of being alone and this motherfucker is afraid of being alone. This motherfucker is still ang angry and pissed off because they in love probably with a fucking empress that they betrayed and you helped this motherfucker betray a fucking empress. Come on now. You feel stuck. You feel trapped. This motherfucker is doing spell work on you. I'm hearing this like, see, look, see, I just got to keep shit real. I just got to keep shit real. Look, this fucking devil, man. This is a devil here. Look, I got to keep shit real, man. Shh, man, I'm not, and I, you know, and I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings, but I just got to say what it is. It's like, I feel like these are two opportunists that went towards each other, two fucking narcissists. And it's like when the narcissist meets a fucking narcissist, they tear, they eat each other alive. And I feel like this is what the fuck is happening. You lose, you lose. But if you are a good person and you this that don't resonate with you, listen, baby girl, either or, even if that do resonate with you, you don't got to take this abuse. Get this motherfucker out your house, man. But this motherfucker ain't going to never be shit. They are fucking nobody. They probably convinced you that they was a somebody, but they really not a nobody. They do fucking spell work. They prey on people with low self-esteem. You need to look yourself in the mirror, pat yourself on the back, and tell yourself you love yourself. Hell, if somebody won't do it then shit do it ain't nobody gonna do it you gotta do it i hope i'm making sense fuck this person man now i didn't got mad hell you better eat you should have to hide and eat this motherfucking calling you fat hell they got damn mama probably fat they mammy fat shit i can't stand you look y'all look y'all and y'all know comedic medium properties is not mean i don't hot shot on people i don't talk about people but i'm keeping it real but listen I can't stand them old narcissistic ass men, women too, but really it'd be more so the narcissistic narcissistic men that do this shit. I can't stand them old narcissistic men that mama don't look half shit. They mama probably a crackhead, a dope fiend, ain't shit. They mama is ratchet. The, the women in their family, they sisters, they, 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 they cousins. They, everybody in the goddamn family is ugly and sloppy and, and whatever the fuck else. And then when, 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 a, when a baddie come around, they want to try to call somebody ugly. 
the women in the family want to try to call somebody ugly or if it ain't that y'all y'all ever <laughs> listen then you be in a relationship look y'all look i'm trying to help you whoever this is whoever i'm talking to i'm trying to help you if you in a relationship with a narcissist look comedic medium profit has been there this is a testimony okay i'm trying to help you them motherfuckers will do anything in their power to try to hurt your self-esteem and break you down because they don't want you to be happy this king of fucking swords here yeah, you better get away from this person. This part, this masculine is going through karma, and this is somebody's empress justice. A Libra could be involved in this as well. Look, this Queen of Cups. I can't make this up, but I can't stand to see them motherfuckers that that they got the nerve to try to break a woman down, but they mama don't look like shit. The women in their family don't look like shit. Everybody in the family look like fucking the the the, the goonies. A family full of fucking goonies. <laughs> y'all y'all ever seen that damn movie the goonies i love y'all comedic medium properties i love 80s movies like some of my favorite movies i love the 80s for some reason i have like for some reason i have a really big obsession with the 80s if i could have lived in any decade i would have loved to live in the 80s i actually think i probably lived there in the past life or something i may have, may have time traveled because yeah but fucking y'all seen the movie the goonies the goonies i love like the breakfast club i love uh uh fucking back to the future uh don't tell mom the babysitter is dead fucking uh i forgot that movie where them two dudes made like a fake uh a fake woman off a computer anyways you guys yeah man this person is this person is out of line man this shit is sad and you for you to sit up here and take this this person is stopping your happiness stopping your abundance eating all your food and don't want you to eat food this is sad man you need to walk away and give yourself to god you need to repent and give yourself to God. All right, my name is the Comedic Medium Prophetess. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And goodbye.